Hello Year 5 and welcome to your maths meeting. You're going to need something to write with and something to write on. So get yourself ready and off we will go. OK, let's begin. So we are starting with Patty Place Value and today's number is 52,642. And I've taken out the sticks 100 less and 100 more. So that's what I would like you to find of this number. So you need to find 100 less than 52,642 and 100 more than 52,642. Pause the video now and complete your sentences. Okay, let's see how we got on. So, we were looking at finding 100 less and 100 more of this number. So I've circled the hundreds column. In our hundreds column is 6, which is 600. So, to find 100 less, we do 600 take away 100, which gives us 500. And 600 to add 100 to find 100 more, which gives us 700. So that's the number that will be changing. So, 100 less then 52,642 is 52,542 and 100 more than 52,642 is 52,742. Okay, today's number, 52,642. I'd now like you to find the nearest 100 to this number. Pause the video now to find the nearest 100. Okay, let's see how you got on. So, when we are rounding a number to the nearest 100, we need to look at the tens digit. Even though we're rounding to the nearest 100, you look at the tens to help you. So it should be 52,600 as we have rounded down to 600, not up to 700. 500. Theo thinks. So, Theo is thinking of a number. Hmm. He adds 10 to the number, then he divides it by 2, and the answer is 7. What was the number Theo was thinking of? Pause the video now to work out your answer. OK, let's see how we work this out. So. What we need to do is we work backwards using the inverse. So it said the answer was 7 and that how Theo got that answer was he divided by 2. So we're going to use the inverse and multiply by 2. So 7 multiplied by 2 is 14. Then it asked, then Theo had to add 10 to that number. So we are going to use the inverse and we are going to subtract 10 from that number. So we had 14 take away 10. So the answer was four. The number Theo was thinking of was four. Because if you work it the other way, four at 10 is 14, divided by two is seven. So you can see how it works. Now we've moved on to Efficient Addison. And she is asking us what 16 times four times two equals. So pause the video now to work, at, work it out. OK, let's see. So you should have broken it down into two sections, 16 times 4, and then we can double because times in 2 is just doubling. So let's look at 16 times 4 first. Now, that's a bit tricky for me. So I've broken it down again, and I know 10 times 4 is 10, 20, 30, 40. So 10 times 4 is 40, and 6 times 4, 6, 12, 18, 24 is 24. So I know 16, so... I've done my 10 times 4 and my 6 times 4, and now I need to add those answers. I need to add 40, add 24. I know 0 add 4 is 4, and 4 add 2 is 6, so 16 times 4 is 64. And now I need to multiply that by 2. So I need to double 64 by 2. If I find that hard, I can add. So 64 add 64, 4 add 4 is 8, and 6 and 6 is 12. 
16 times 4 times 2 is 128. Now, Efficient Addison would like you to give this one a go. 18 times 3 times 2. OK, let's see how we did. So, 18 times 3 is 54, and 54 times 2 is 108. So, 18 times 3 times 2 equals 108. Below, I've shown how you could have broken it down if you're finding that a little bit tricky. So, we know 10 times 3 is 30, 8 times 3 is 24, 30 at 24 equals 54, and then you needed to double 54, and your answer would have been 108. Now we're looking at know what Noah knows. So Noah has asked you what half add 10.2 equals. Pause the video now to work out your answer. Okay, so we know half is 0 0.5. So we are adding 0 0.5 add 10.2. 0 0.5 at 10.2 equals 10.7. As you can see here with the green line, it's the 0.5 and the 0.2 which are being added together, and so that gives us the 0.7. So the answer is 10.7. Now Noah wants to know what a quarter add 0 0.22 equals. Pause the video now to write your answer. So a quarter equals 0 0.25. So we were adding 0 0.25, add 0 0.22. And our answer should have been 0 0.47. It's very important that you put the zero point and not just add 25 or 22 and get 47 because if you just put 47, your answer is incorrect. It's 0 0.47. Now we're going on to Robbie Roundham. So we are rounding to the nearest whole number and our number is 77.29 and we want to round this to the nearest whole number. So pause the video now and write your answer. Okay, let's see how we did. So we could have rounded this number 77.29, we could have rounded it down to 77 or up to 78. What we needed to look at was the point number to help us. So it's 0.29. If you look on our number line here, I've drawn a red line where it would be 0.5 and 29 is less than 0.5, so we would round down to 77. So the answer is 77. Well done Year 5, that was another great maths meeting.